Today we're at the Edmonton Valley Zoo and we've just completed an assessment of Lucy the Elephant's general health with two veterinarians we've asked to come in. Basically it's kind of like a second opinion. It helps to have just other minds and eyes looking at her. They might see things that I haven't seen. They might come up with ideas that I haven't had. Lucy is an elephant who arrived at the Valley Zoo from Sri Lanka in 1977. Staff were told that she was an orphan, a two-year-old orphan, so we estimate that her age is about 44 years old right now, which is geriatric for an elephant. And she's lived here her entire life. And the physical exam of Lucy uh, involves us um, taking a look at all of her various uh, areas. Uh, we take a look at her skin, we take a look at her mouth, we take a look at her ears, her eyes, her feet, and then we also see the flexibility that she has uh, in her legs and you know various things. Anytime you have an older elephant you're going to have different things that develop, including arthritis and various things like that. And so then we take her for a walk and uh, we want to see how she's moving. One of the main issues with Lucy is a respiratory problem. She developed this several years ago and that's part of the reason why I come up each year is to try and evaluate her respiratory problem. For some reason she has constrictions on her nasal passages and so that's one of the things, the main things that, that I'm here each year to see if there's been any changes in her respiratory problem. At this point in time it's about the same. Today we're here for an additional day of assessment. Uh, we're going to look uh, basically at the throat area on Lucy from the top side, so looking with an endoscope, with a camera, we're going to pass a camera in her trunk and hopefully reach to up above her throat and we are also going to look in her mouth to understand what's going on in her mouth and how she can breathe through her mouth making you know so much noise. So the way it worked uh, Lucy was putting her trunk on the table um, and Dr. Limoges was passing that tube with the camera at the tip, so the long endoscope. And of course we used some gel, to uh, some lubricant, and we used some um, uh, lidocaine, so a desensitization solution, so she doesn't feel it at all. Um, and I was very impressed, she didn't mind really too much the procedure and she was, you know, when we had to pull out the camera, she was coming back to do it again without any issue. After the veterinarians were done with their exam and their evaluations, um, we gathered all the keepers in the boardroom and we went over basically a summary of their impressions and what they got from the exam. And again, we asked keepers if they had any more questions to ask. One of the issues that, that has come up each time is whether or not that Lucy should be moved. And that, uh, to me, with her respiratory problem, I think would be very, very problematic. I've probably moved about 50 elephants now in, in my career, several by air, several, uh, most of them by truck, and they have to tolerate being in a crate. They have to tolerate the move time itself. In Lucy's case, I don't think that she would do very well in a, that type of a, attempt to move her any place. I consider Lucy to be a very stable elephant here in her environment. She doesn't show me any signs of a nervous elephant or an elephant that's stressed mentally. I think she has learned that her elephant herd is the people that she's with here. The crew that you have here taking care of Lucy is one of the best. They have records of her behaviors, the food that she eats, her activity levels, the care that she gets, the exercise, the physiotherapy that she gets, the treatments that she gets. So it's one of the best documented cases of an elephant anywhere where the people are keeping track of her situation and how she's doing. Dr. MJ uh, is doing a great job keeping up with the keepers, making sure that Lucy has everything that she needs and uh, periodically we do different diagnostics to follow the situation that she has.